signs were unreported or were otherwise unrecognized. Um, I can tell you that he saved lives that day. He called the shooter by name repeatedly. From missed warning signs to stories of true heroism, investigators today laying out their findings after the shooting at Perry High School earlier this year. Now that shooting on January 4th killed 11-year-old Amir Joliffe and the school principal, Dan Marburger. And today, Iowa's Department of Public Safety detailed the motive, missed warning signs, unanswered questions, and acts of heroism uncovered in investigating what happened. KCRG tv 9s Libby Randall reports. He desired to be famous. He desired to commit suicide. He desired to take others with him. Iowa Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Bayans refused to say the name of the 17-year-old gunman, not wanting to give him the attention he sought in randomly shooting his classmates, killing one in an attack that lasted a little more than four minutes. The shooting was indiscriminate. The victims were not targeted and appeared to be product and appeared to have been a product of immediate availability. There was evidence of meticulous week-long planning rather than an unprepared emotional response. Investigators say the gunman had meticulously planned the attack for weeks. And while no one knew of his exact plans, he said there were warning signs that were missed. I can say that others were aware of the shooter's general interest in school shootings. Others were aware with his, of his fascination for violence. Others were aware of his concerning behaviors. The gunman used a shotgun in the attack, but because of private sales, investigators could not track exactly how he got the gun. They believe he stole it from an extended family member. County prosecutors have said no one will face charges. Bands became emotional, describing the heroics of that day, like the assistant principal who dodged bullets to hit the school's alert system, the police officer who rushed in alone, and calling out Principal Dan Marburger for his actions, even after he was wounded. But every time he called that name out, the shooter heard his name, and he looked and turned towards the sound, and when he did that, it diverted his attention from who he was intending to shoot. The gunman shot Marburger a second time. He died 10 days later. Bayan said stories like that made this an emotional case for law enforcement. I walked the halls of that school. Uh, I saw the carnage that that day produced, um, and I can tell you it left an indelible mark on my soul. Baines urged Iowans to report warning signs to law enforcement, saying he'd rather investigate thousands of false reports so he never has to console another mother ever again. In Perry, Libby Randall, KCRG TV9 News. And Bayans had a lot to say on that last part. What happens now and what he wants all of us to take from the shooting? We're going to dive into that message of prevention tonight on the TV9 News at 10. And again, you can see that full news conference from today right now on the KCRG News app as well as KCRG.com.